What up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over some companion pets that you can use for different things other than just pet battling. They'll be useful in different situations. And I also want to go through a handful of companion pets that do unique things. And I'm also going to talk about a website that you can go on and pretty much filter it and see which pets have different emotes and interactions and all kinds of sorts of things. I'll be honest, when I started working on this video, there's so much I learned about it that I had no idea all these different ones did uh, certain things. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first two companion pets up on the list will be cooking fire companion pets. So say you you cook a lot and you don't want to run to the auction house or run to your bank and all constantly having to drop a, can a cooking fire. Well, these two will do the trick. And also if you watch the video that I made before about the chef's hat, it's a great combo. So you'll make them quick and you'll be able to make them wherever you want. So the first on the list is Pierre. Pierre is made by engineers. Um, I really like this one. I like how he's got the frying pan on there. He'll toss it up and all that. But if you have an engineer that can make it, that's great. They're about 15K on my server. Uh, it's gonna be different than everybody else's server. Uh, my recommendation, if you can craft it, just look up the recipe and go that route. Or you can um, ask somebody in your guild. So what you do is you just pop them out and it'll just be like a cooking fire that falls around. So if we hit this and we go to probably protein we just hit create and it'll just create the second one that'll do a cooking fire is a little ragnaros now little ragnaros i'll just do another one to show that it does the cooking fire but the little ragnaros comes from the store which at the time it is 10 bucks if it was me i would wait because we're getting closer to the holidays and Blizzard seems to mark down a lot of their, uh, you know, mounts and pets during the holidays. I know every year if there was any mounts that I wanted to pick up, I'd always wait closer to December because they always marked them down. So it was really up to you if you'd like to jump on it. Uh, I will say the only downfall about Little Red Rose is he takes forever to move. He's not going to be like Pierre just following you around. He does this and then he'll respawn. But still, it is a portable uh cooking fire so let's get on to the next one next up on our list is alvin the amble and Jermo please it also is an amble so this one is made by blacksmiths and the recipe can drop from a rare out here i don't know the name of it or it can also drop from one of the bosses in Naltharius. um after they craft or they get the recipe, they can craft up in the amble. I will say this sucker moves slow. <laughs> Look at that. That has got to be one of the slowest pets in the game. But if you are a chef, you could use it if you wanted to craft these. It only requires an amble or blacksmith. I will go ahead and say this doesn't completely remove the thermal amble because this is only an amble. It is not a forge, so if there's any recipes you need for a forge, you, know, you still have to go there. I haven't found any companion pets that do that. Another thing is Christmas is coming up soon, and during the Wintervale holidays, the green packages uh, will drop out there. And there's a chance for you to get this red wooden sled. Uh, you might actually already have it. But say you wanted to move around and you needed this guy to go a little bit faster, you could use this on there. He'll jump on the sled, click that, and you can drag him around a little faster. Come on, buddy. So there is that option. Now, I will also say if you don't have blacksmith, you don't have the pattern or anything like that, this can be a little pricey on the auction house. So how I did it, and I honestly think you should do it this way is you come on over here to your crafting orders go on here and we're gonna with great care. i'll been on here and it'll pop right up 
So go on here and track recipe, get that and put it on here. And somebody will you know, craft it for you. Uh, I went low ball, but on not my server, uh, they're selling these for 25K. So you could, in theory, get the recipes, have them crafted, use uh, the little scales um, to level it up. Like I uh, have a video for that. I'll link that one up top. And uh, you can level it up and resell it. But it, just for people who want it for professions and all, uh, there it is. So let's jump on to the next one. So the next companion pet is the little XT. Uh, this was an older cash out mount, but recently Blizzard did, I think the Amazon prom and just gave them out to people. There's also another one that's from the TCG, but I feel like a lot more people have this. In my last video about toys, I showed a toy that could destroy train sets and you know, other annoying toys. Well, lo and behold, I did not know this. This pet does the exact same thing. So if we go here, well, let's just go to our toy box and put it in, in the train set. So if we drop this, this will happen. Now I did not at all know about that until I found this website, Warcraft Pets, which I'll go over here just in a minute. But that is very cool because this isn't like it's on a cooldown or anything. You can just summon him when you want. And I figured some people probably got this from Prime. And like I said, I had no idea about this. One. So this one will be on my bars. Anyways, let's jump on to the next one. So next up on the list, is the guild herald and the guild page now, both of these come from your guild vendor um, and they are unlocked from certain guild achievements i can't remember which one i know there's one for pvp so here's the guild page but i can't remember the guild uh herald um there is definitely some downsides but once you have those you just come to Please your guild vendor so here's guild page guild herald for alliance it's right here that's where your guild vendor is and for horde if we jump over here it's going to be right here the once you summon these i can't even summon them right now because i accidentally clicked one uh they turn into this vendor right here it, it's the exact same vendor but the neat thing is, is say your transmog farming, uh, you can sell whatever you want or your bags are completely loaded. You can just summon the pet, sell your stuff and get back to it. Now for the downfalls, Blizzard apparently has had a bug uh, in game for a while now that I finally found out what was going on that they seem to will just disappear out of uh, your bags. See, there's the Herald and there's the guild page. So you can buy multiples and just have them on there. And just in case they just never fix it. The other downfalls is once they're up, they're only up for five minutes and then they're gone. The Guild Herald is up for four minutes or four minutes, four hours, or it has a four hour cooldown. And then the Guild Page has an eight hour cooldown and they are character specific so once you buy one of these uh you're gonna have to buy for every single one of your characters so it's really up to you if you'd like to get these um it's nice to just have in case you ever need one but until they fix it it kind of doesn't feel like a pet even though i wanted to mention it because it's supposed to be but there you go so let's jump on to the next one the next companion pet uh, up on our list is the Argent Squire. So this one comes from out here in old, uh, old in Northern, and Ice Crown. 
And at the very top right here, you'll see the Argent Tournament. The Argent Tournament is, it's actually a pretty cool place. And if you're a mount farmer, there you, there's tons of mounts you can get out here too. But once you get out here, there's a quest line you can start and just follow it until you become Be champion well. out here and you'll get this guy right here. So for the Alliance, you'll get the Argent Squire. Uh, but for the Horde, you'll get the Argent Grunt, I think. Um, the thing about this guy, which I gotta get back to farming, is once you unlock dailies and all that kind of stuff, you can come to the vendor over here and buy this, the Argent Pony Bridle. So, as soon as you get this uh, for 150 and apply it to your companion pet, uh, it will actually turn it into a mailbox, a bank, and a vendor on a four hour cooldown. Uh, I know it's four hours is a little bit, a little much, but say you're in raid or wherever and need to, your mailbox is on cooldown or you need to use your bank or vendor. I mean, that's pretty cool pet to have. Uh, it might be a little bit of a grind, get up 150. But there's also a lot of neat stuff out here. Toy, there's tavern out of porch out here. There's a bunch of different mounts, uh, old heirlooms. But this one is one I'm definitely working on and wanted to share that one. All right, on the next one. So this is the website that I was talking about earlier, which really helped me out quite a bit on this and actually taught me, I mean, just a ton of, about all this and how many different things and there are different pets that had interactions in the game. So if you come here, warcraftpets.com, which I think is an excellent site, even like if you want to get into pet battling, there's abilities, or if you're just a collector, uh, you can go right here, guide to pet collecting. But I wanna, if anybody was interested in the interactions or see if certain pets did certain things, what you can do is come over here to tools and then go down to pet filters. Now what we're going to do, yeah, well, I already have it on there, but you're going to scroll down to pet properties and then right here has interactivity. So once you click that, all these pets that are going to be on the list have certain things that do different ones. And it actually surprised me quite a bit that there's so many that do this. Like this one right here, the Halloween events coming up soon. And if you click on it, you can scroll down to right here at the interactivity, it eats critters. So when you're running around with this pet, it's just going to randomly eat critters. Uh, so say we go back to another one. See, here's the Argent Squire that I was talking about. So say we click on it, we can go down here to interactivity, carries a flag of your choice with the Argent Pony Bridle, which I was talking about farming up the currency to buy. It becomes a mailbox, uh, a bank, or a vendor every four hours. So if you pretty much just ever want to look up and see different things, I think this is a really awesome site. So with that being said, I'm going to just show a couple and then you're always welcome to just, you know, come here, check it out. And there we go. All right. Alrighty. So I wanted to show off just a couple uh, about I want to learn from the site. See, this one that came with the collector's edition. I think it was a collector's edition. Oh, it might have been a heroic too. I didn't know it had any kind of interactions. But there's things like this where you can target it, do slash silly. And it's just going to start spitting fire. Then there's other ones like this one from the plump turkey, which is coming up on the Thanksgiving. So if you have a toy or well, in your professions for cooking, you throw down a cooking fire. Well, this little turkey, I guess for Thanksgiving, is just gonna go ahead and hop on in there. Um, then there's the cat pets, but there's other ones. Uh, this one just got off the trading post. If you target it and then slash sit, it'll crawl up and hang out on your lap. So that's just kind of a idea of what the site tells you about different ones. And I just, I had no idea I had all these different interactions. The last one I wanted to show off is I bought this one a while ago. 
and uh, I just I always like the animation of it. It's the ethereal soul trader. When it moves is what makes it look cool. That's the reason. But if you click it, it has a vendor. The vendor you can't just sell normal items to. Uh, see, so if I try and sell it, it won't let me take it. What happens is, I thought I had some, I guess I don't. But once you're out and about and with the pet by your side, once you kill anything that gives experience or honor, he'll pretty much zap their soul and give you a currency, the ethereal credit. And once you stack up enough, you can buy these items on here, which I mean, they're just little fun things on the side. But since Blizzard has unlocked the, you know, gray items for transmog, this is the only place to get these. And as far as I know, I mean, they're buying on pickup. So you'll have to have this pet. I don't think you can use it with a friend because they're going to have to earn this. And I don't think they can. But if you want to see the mog, I can right click it. And it kind of gives you the ethereal transmog. Uh, there's no, I guess there's the hell. But that right there, I think is pretty cool. Now you can buy this off the auction house, the Ethereal Soul Trader. Um, it also randomly pops up in the black market auction house. I think that's where I got it from. Check out your auction house if you would like to get this for the pet and the transmog. But I will say with Blizzard recently doing the Twitch drops and the Amazon Prime uh, giveaways and stuff and then adding stuff to the trading post I've got a very strong feeling that this will end up uh, on one of those three very soon so if you don't want to spend a lot of gold I, I would hold on because I also have a feeling we're moving more toward the void with the whole you know things going on uh, something will happen that's just my speculation take that with a grain of salt but if it's very expensive, I would just hold out and uh, see what comes up. I just have a good feeling about it. And that wraps up this video of the helpful and unique pets in World of Warcraft. Uh, this was a fun one, I'm not gonna lie. It gave me a different perspective of the companion pets. Uh, I wish there was something in game that kind of told you this uh, instead of having to go you know, to a site or anything like that, because that would have been super cool. Maybe I missed it, and it does say it, but I didn't see it. Uh, I hope it let y'all know that some of the uh, pets you got in your bags has an interaction you just never knew about. Anyways, thank you everyone that's watched. Uh, if there's any pets that you think are really cool, uh, throw them in the comments. I'll check them out. Uh, anyways, until next time, see ya.